So let us see a few questions and answers. Numerical in uh, computer graphics. First is how many kilobyte does a frame buffer needs in a 600 by 400 pixels? So this is a very common question. You have to uh, you compute the size for for certain pixel values. For that, what we do? The resolution is given as 600 into 400. It can be anything. So what? Uh, how we proceed? Uh, let let us suppose that one pixel can store n bits. We have one pixel. Let, let us suppose that it can support, uh, store n bits. So the size of this frame buffer will be the resolution, which is given like this, into bits per pixel. Bits per pixel. So 600 into 400 into n bits, right? So what we do? We multiply. It. This is n bits, and we know that one kilobyte, because the answer is sort in kilobytes. 1 kilobyte is 1024 bytes, this is b by 80. And what we do? We divide it by 1024 and 8. This, this is why because this answer was in this, uh, you know, assumption was in bits. So what we do? We convert it into the byte, dividing by 8 and then convert this bits into kilo by dividing it by 1024. So the answer will be this. Uh, please remember that in uh, computer terminology, we assume k to be 1024, not 1000. But if uh, in calculation, we have to take it as 1024. But in normal terms, you can, you can, you know, uh, talk or you can say that it is 1k means 10 to the power 3. The other is find out the aspect ratio, aspect ratio of the laser system using 8 by 10 inches screen and 100 pixels per inch. So, inch is given, it is uh, in the denominator, so it's quite easy. The aspect ratio is width by height, this is 8, this is 10, and uh, 8 by 10 into 100. Just multiply it by 10. No need to do these things. Just multiply it by 100, and this will be 4 by 5. That is aspect ratio will be 4 to 5. So, how much time is spent scanning across each row of pixel during? Uh, screen refresh on a raster system with the resolution of this and a refresh rate of 60 frames per second. So we need to compute the uh, time. So how we do it? The resolution is given like this. So this means uh, that system contain 1024 scan lines and each scan line contains 128 uh, pixels. So we have 1024 scan lines and this each scan line cons, uh, this contains 128 or 1280 pixels. So the refresh rate is given to be 60 frame per second means uh, one frame will take what? One frame will take 1 by 60. Or you can take 60 down here and you can say one, one frame will take 1 by 60 seconds. So resolution is 1280 by 1024. So a frame buffer, as we just suggested, it has 1024 scan lines. This means 1024 scan lines will take how many seconds or how, many, how much time? You multiply this uh, you know, uh, 1024 by, you have to divide it. So you have to divide it by 1 by 60 into 1024. This will be the time for one scan. Suppose RGB raster system is to be designed using 8 inch into 10 inch screen with a resolution of 100 pixels per inch in each direction. So if, if you want to store 6 bits per pixel in the frame buffer, how much storage in bytes do we need for the frame buffer? Again, uh, this is resolution and we need to convert it into the pixel. So what we do, 8 into 100 by 10 into 100 because 100 pixels per inch are there so just you know multiplying it by pixels per inch which is given as 100 we can get the pixels this inch inch will be cancelled so this is uh, in terms of pixel it will be 800 by 1000 now one pixel can store 6 bit this is what is being given one uh, 6 bits per pixel this one pixels means 6 bits so the frame buffer will be this pixel into 6 bits and this will be 
into into six into ten to the power five times. So a unit square is transformed by two by two transformation matrix. The unit square uh, is transformed by this transformation matrix. The resulting position vector are this. So what is exactly the transformation matrix? Now unit square given the output given we have to find out the transformation. So uh, this is the output. So we take it as uh, the transformation matrix. We assume it to be you know, two by two A B C D, and because this is a unit square, it is given to be a unit square. We have coordinates like this. What are the coordinates? We take like this. Okay. So x y x plus this is x y. This is x plus one. This is. Uh, y plus one. So this will be x plus one, y plus one. So we have these coordinates. These are the four coordinates. We will write like this, and just multiply it. We will get the required answer. And after this, once you are done with this, what you do? You multiply, and you can uh, easily equate because matrix if they are equal, you can equate each number with the other. Now you equate each of them, and now you solve it. This will be the transformation matrix. Now show that two by two matrix. This represents a pure rotation. How to show it? So we know that for pure rotation transformation, determinant of the transformation matrix should be equal to one. So we have to show that determinant of this matrix to be. So simply you multiply this by this, multiply this by this, and take the, subs take the subtraction, and this will be one because certain properties and will will be handy and the square value will be cancelled out. Now prove that simultaneous is sharing in both direction, that is x and y direction, is not equal to the composite or uh, composition of pure shear. Along x-axis followed by pure shear along y-axis. So if you combine x and y direction sharing, if this is not equal to first sharing at x and sharing at y. This is what we have to do. So we know that uh, the simultaneous sharing is given by like this. If simultaneous sharing was not there, we will not be there. But if we remove b, this will be in x direction. If we remove a, means Not remove, but replace it by zero. This will be in y direction. The simultaneous will be. We just multiply. This will be one plus a b, um, a b one, and this is not equal to one. So this is not equal to s h. So hence the root. Now we have to use this Cohen uh, Sutherland algorithm to clip line, which is the line is given by these two points or ellipses, against a window. Lower left hand corner fifty ten, and upper right hand corner fifty forty. This is the line. These are the corners which give, which are being given. So let us make it first. Uh, this is our fifty ten, and this is our eighty forty. So this is the plane. So the plane. This is the window actually. This is the line. The points are given seventy twenty and hundred ten. So these are the points. So uh, we have drawn it using. What has been given in the in the example or the question? Now, what we do in this particular algorithm, we assign a four-bit binary output. Four-bit binary means zero and one combination. So, point P one is inside the window, so that the out code is zero 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 zero, and the out code of P two is zero 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 zero. So, logical and operation will give what we perform the logical operation. And operation it will be zero 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 zero. But let us take the slope of p one p two. That is slope means uh, m. That is y two minus y one by x two minus x one given by this. We compute it, and this will be equal to minus one by two. So what we have done? We computed the slope. We have made the diagram. Now let us come here. So we have to find the intersection of this uh, line p one p two with the right edge of uh, window. This is the intersection point. So how are we going to compute? So here x is equal to eighty. This is this is eighty. So we have to find the value of y. We can easily find the value of y. Just uh, use again this m. 
y minus 10 uh, it is just take this value and this will equal to the slope because slope we have already computed and minus 1 by 3 will be slope take these two points uh, 80 and 100 and this uh, y minus 10 because y we have to find the x we already know it is 80 so y will be 16.66 so this is the point which we have got the intersection point p3 is nothing but 80 uh, 16.66 this is the x and this is y so after clipping the line p1 p2 against this window which is given by this square uh, rectangle square you could say new line p1 p3 uh, with coordinates 70 20 this 70 20 and this intersection point 80.66 so hope you got a bit idea. These were very few questions. I'm taking more later sessions. Thank you so much. Take care.